Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you another match, another first person video on Felsic Inferno. It's a 2v2, myself and King John VI against Skahanov and Ifstick. So I've gone Vekir, and King John VI, which we'll see soon, has gone CISO. And currently I'm just going for a basic economic start, just 5 LC, 1 QP. Also sending my Tezvir out to scout. I just see King John VI hasn't actually yet picked his race, but you can see in the corner there a little bit. I believe it was a Marine. Anyway, so, but he is going CISO. We talked about this before the match started, so I already know this. And at this point, like I said, I'm just going for a total economy build. King John VI said he's going to be going for a more rush-oriented build, maybe Chrono Ports. So it should be very interesting to watch, see how that works out. Hopefully it should work out quite well. And so at this point, I'm just trying to make sure I get perfect timing on this, and I did, so I do have perfect timing on that LC QP, sorry, LC RP. <laughs> so, now six Lift Crystal, another Q Plasma RP gonna be coming up pretty soon. And, okay, there we go, now I can get it down. All right, so now I got got a fairly decent economic base, but I'm just gonna keep building up a bit more, because like I said, King John Six is gonna be covering me for the military side, so I'm just gonna try to build up as much as I can. Make sure, oh yeah, I gotta remember to share a vision. Uh, yeah, that. Right, in Akron at the moment, it, the alliances can be set, but vision sharing isn't automatic, so we have to remember to set, set it all the time. Anyway, as it is, just building up, making sure nothing's getting in my base with the Tetsbeer, just scouting out in the middle of the map, and at the moment, continue to build up my economy, just because I want to make sure that I have a fairly strong economy before I start building vehicles up. And... actually, oh right, vision's chronal. Shoot, okay, I gotta go back in time and then give vision. Okay, now we should have vision. Okay, now where did, I, where did I leave off? I was about... oh, right here. Okay. So anyway, yeah, so the foundation built up. Now you need to get a depot on that foundation. My overall plan is the normal one. Just build a bunch of RPs, build a foundation, build a depot, build some infantry, turn those infantry into vehicles while also getting other vehicles. And in the meantime, also getting infantry after building a resource processor. And, oh, it looks like my test has actually hit them. You see the, the timeline. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm just gonna send... yeah. Here we are. My test beer is... Okay, so if Stick is playing Grekim, and I'm not sure what Sakhanov is playing. It's, I haven't scouted him out yet. And anyway, back where I was... Gonna do, uh, should I take my test beer? Nah, no, leave my test beer going. Leave him on the suicide mission. Anyway, so the depot is almost done. I actually have a Zion beer going up to the north to expand as, there as well, so I'm gonna have a lot of resource processors in a very strong economy. That's my plan anyway, assuming I don't get attacked, but... I don't imagine I'm going to get attacked that quickly, and like I said, King John VI is going to be covering me on the military front, so for the moment, I'm pretty safe going for expansions, as far as I know, anyway. I mean, it's possible that something might screw up, I might not actually get there, but I kind of doubt it, I hope not, anyway. So that's going up there, and my depot is almost done. Once that's done, I'll start building vehicles. I have some infantry coming up as well, and oh, it looks like my Tethyr... Okay, my Tethyr is hit again, and one of the Octos looks like it's about to destroy my Tethyr entirely, and... Yeah, that attack... Okay, well that attack was just a scouting run. It's nothing big. And it looks like... I'm not sure what... No, I'm just not sure what Stakhanov is. I can't... I can see it on the mini-map. It looks like he's probably Vekir, judging by the size of the building structure... Or the size of the blue blob on the left, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, so I have my infantry coming out. I'm gonna soon have... I should actually start building vehicles soon. I have a Shinvir coming up. I'll be building air units as well soon. Another Tethvir, though, because my old one just died. So, at this point, I'm just going to build up a comm hub, make sure... Okay, so Skronov is playing back here. Anyway, like I said, just going to build up a comm hub, and from there, I should have an easier time scouting around, make sure no one's... Or try to make sure no one's taking the middle. Just also try to check the middle of the map. I have just an eye out there, because comm centers... Or comm hubs, I should say, for back here, are really good for vision. Also going to get a Teth Pulsar, along with a couple of Zion Pulsars, to cover my expansion to the north. The Teth Pulsar, Teth Pulsar is very useful, because anti-air, I... I'm not fighting CISO, but it's still not a bad idea to have some anti-air early on, just in case maybe Sakhanov goes for an early aerial control center, I don't know. At this point, it looks like King John VI is probably going to be going for an aerial rush, he usually does, and he said he would be as well. And I, like I said, I'm just going... yeah, there he is. So his lance are already there. The reef is actually almost destroyed, but this is fairly far in the future, so it's not a big deal. If you see, look in the timeline, you can see that if stick green player is fairly far in the past anyway. He's about a minute and a half behind me, so what's happening now is probably not at all relevant. I'm just going to get this Teth Pulsar in order to defend my base. And I sh uh, no, never mind. I think I actually will send it to defend my expansion. That's more important right now. Anyway, I got my Zion Veer up there. 
had a bunch of RPs queued in case I had enough resources, but I don't, so I'm just going to have to wait around and make sure... There we go, because i got more resources now. And my aerial, aerial control center is almost done, so I can start building some air units. Get the Shin Turcher up pretty soon, and... No, I guess Shin Pulsar, actually. So, Teth Pulsar as well, another one. So, I'm just trying to make sure I have good defense at this point, and then I'll try to move on to continue to expand, continue to, to get more offense units. And then from there, I'll help out and try to steamroll. I was going to get Teth Gear just to scout up north. I'm not sure what my opponents are doing, if they've expanded to the north middle. So I'm just going to make sure that they haven't, because I don't want to have to deal with that as well. I mean, I'm expanding, yes, and they're going to have to deal with that. But if they expand as well, that doesn't make my expansion strategy as strong. So anyway, back we're just back a bit further in the past. And I'm just going to get aerial, aerial control center a bit sooner than I did before, because I realized I actually could have gotten it sooner. And that way I'll get a bit more efficient build here, but it shouldn't be too big of a difference. We haven't been attacked, there hasn't been any big military engagements right now, so at the moment it's fairly fairly docile. I mean, there were some attacks from our side, but they haven't attacked us yet, and we're just continuing to expand. Get another couple RPs up there, and once that's done, I should be able to get... Yeah, Arians are also going to be coming in sooner. I'm trying to get a Turcher as well, and there we go. Okay, now I get a Turcher coming. So that's a good bomber unit, also good cloak detector. Just make sure that nothing fishy is happening once again. I mean, I don't know, maybe Sakana was going for a Zion Turcher to cloak or attack, or Istic, maybe he's built up somewhere else, getting borrow pods. That I need both anti-air and cloak detection. Ooh, that's that's a headache sometimes. And it looks like, oh wow, Kingdom 6 actually has done a lot with this. Whoa, those lines are doing a lot of damage. Okay, this is this might not be as hard of a game. <laughs> I, oh, I, okay, I hopefully I actually get to do something here. At this point, it looks like I'm just going to be building up resources while those Lancers go to town. Well, anyway, I mean, I suppose if I do get into the game at any point, I will be useful. <laughs> I'll have enough resources. Uh, let's just get the Shin Turcher going for an attack, going for a scouting run, make sure that nothing fishy is going on. Get a Shin Pulsar as well, just make sure that I have some fast air scouting units. I, the Shin Turcher isn't that fast, so it doesn't help me out as much. And once going to continue to expand, so the expansion of the north is pretty much taken, and doesn't look like King John VI has expanded at all. He's continuing to just rush. And, oh dear, apparently okay, he needs some support units from me. I'm not sure what I can really provide, though. I think... Yeah, I don't really have much. I'm just going to continue trying to build some resources. Actually, going to expand a bit out here. I do have some units defending my expansion, but I don't have a whole lot of units yet. I've been mainly investing in resource processors for future expansion. Like I said, I was pretty sure King John VI would be covering me. And his rush did help, and actually, what is, oh, okay, that's how this, I wasn't sure what that red, that unviewed battle was, it's just the Teth, the Teth of the Earth in the earlier game. So, at this point, we have one fairly basic Vekir base, and try, me trying to build up as much as I can. Actually, I'm getting the, the Halkian class is done, I got another infantry as well, so I need to start getting Halkions going. It looks like, oh, actually, it looks like Ipstick's been screwed over somehow. I guess being King John VI rush hit him the most. It's not entirely surprising. And there's also a, looks like a Shin Pulsar, I think? Or a Teth Tur No, it's a Teth Turcher. There's a Teth Turcher from Sakana, so he is going air. He's going anti-air air. Well, I'm going for anti-ground air, primarily. So, I might want to go to, for anti-air. Some Teth units at some point. Let's get the resources, though. We're trying to get some Halkions, but I don't really have a lot of liquid crystal. I've been spending it mainly on... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sakhanov already has gate tech. Oh, crap. i got to watch out for that. I don't know if he's going to be chronoporting or anything, but that's certainly a real risk at this point. It looks like he actually does have a Shin Turcher in our base trying to attack us, but it's not going to be that big of a problem. It's not that much yet, but if he does chronoport something back, that's going to be pretty bad. Anyway, as far as... Ah, uh, here he is. So the Shin Pulsar actually did beat up the Shin Turcher, and so that will just go off to scout. At the same time, I'll continue to expand and get Gate Tech myself, since I, as I can see, I'm fairly behind on that one. That's kind of worrisome. Also getting a Shin Pulsar, getting more units, just trying to make sure I get my armies bigger up. It's normal Vekir strategy. And trying to get rid of this, and yes, it is a Teth Turcher, so it's going to make sure work my Shin Pulsar, unfortunately. And the ATHC, though, is not doing much of this. Is that an ATHC? I think it is. I'll be not doing much at this point. And it looks like my Teth Pulsar... Oh, great. My Teth Pulsar cannot attack. The foundations are completely messing it up. Unfortunately, it's... A, yeah, Auto Defense does that at this point. If so, if you're fighting a Vekir base, it's going to distract your units when it's doing it. So it's very powerful against them. It's something that one has to keep in mind very much when they're fighting a Vekir. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue building up and trying to get myself a decent army. Got a Teth Halkion as... 
well, because, like I said, my Sakhanov is going for air units. I don't know exactly what Ipstick is going for, but Sakhanov is doing air. I want to make sure I can deal with that. And at the same time, I also want to get Shin Halkyun for my own air. Air assault platform, and I'm not going to get any Zion Halkyuns, though. There really isn't much in the way of anti-ground that I need. But it looks like this reef... Oh, well. Okay, so Ipstick, yeah, he is taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he's expanded somewhere else on the map, as Grekim is wont to do. But at this point, he is getting heavily damaged in his main base, while Sakhanov has expanded a lot. His main foundation set is really large. I think I should probably be expanding it too. Actually, now that I think about it, I've got a lot of money. Get some units, but I think I need to get... Yeah, I'm going to need to get a second depot. I have no room right now. No room at all. So yeah, just get a second foundation. I'm going to turn that into a depot. I'll turn one of them into a depot. Turn one of them into an annex, I guess. Yeah, I guess I will have to turn it into an annex, because I will need to build more units. I might just use a slipgate and see if I can get away with infantry. So at this point, it looks like... Okay, I'm not going to be getting a slipgate off. Okay, well, I'll try to build a slipgate here, but I think really it'd be better to build a depot. At least I'll have the aerial control center. I can build another annex, and other annexes are always useful, because backup tech structure, backup infantry production, quite useful to have. Anyway, I'm just going to go with the depot for... I think I'm just going to go back in town and just switch that up. That That's not the best setup. Or, well, I guess I can't, really. Oh well, I guess I'll have to deal with that as best I can. See if I can go back in time and maybe at least cancel that. Anyway, once this once this slipgate comes in, I'll try to chronoport some of my units, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Actually, this one looks like it's actually going to be a fairly decent enough job. Or would be. It's hard to tell. I might getting rid it looks like I'm kind of getting rid of the base as it is, but the Foundation Auto Defense is doing a lot of damage, so it's hard to get through that. I'm going to pulse down here because I don't know how much I can be able to do. At this point, my army is still kind of small. I'm still really focusing on economy. And I need to get... I really need to get more military at this point. So, and anyway, it looks like... Green Town... Oh, what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me. That... Oh, shoot. Did, did something happen to my gate tech? Something happened to my gate tech, didn't it? Yeah, I can't build slip gates. Crap. Well, I can just get the depot where I wanted it originally. But... Oh, great. Not like, oh, yeah, this happens occasionally where... I'm not sure exactly what happens, but yeah, Gate Tech, I, I must have run out of resources for something and wasn't able to get Gate Tech. I guess something destroyed my Q Plasma. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a military unit there. Must have destroyed my Q Plasma RPs. Ah, great. Okay, well, I guess at this point I'll have to try to do it as best I can. Reacquire Gate Tech and maybe get another annex up there, build a slip gate somewhere else. At this point, though, I really have to deal with so kind of slip gate. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's going to chronoport units back. He still has it. I don't know if he's used it yet. It doesn't seem like he has, but he might have it, and that's really worrisome. So let's just reacquire gate tech, try to regain that. I don't know how many times I'm going to research that. Hopefully not too many. And, oh, okay, my shin, shin beer hit the lava, burned to death. Oh, well. The Valiant, Valiant soldier, now completely destroyed by lava. Lava does that. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it has just one's health, I'm afraid. Anyhow, let's see if I can't get a foundation going north of it. And oh shoot, right, I need to get an annex. Okay, so now I've got to get an annex here. Can't get a slipgate here, but get another foundation. Why can't I? Oh right, off the cliff. Okay, get a foundation to the south then. Then from there I can build a slipgate. Oh boy. Then okay, get another church up. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna start really building up military. I've got a lot of resources. Got actually got a lot of military at this point too coming in. Dealing a fair amount of damage. Got Halkins of each type, got... Well, okay, had Halkins of each type. The Halkins is dead now. And also holding my own a bit near this north expansion to make sure that nothing can go and take it. So, at this point, I'm just trying to make sure... Like I said, get an army, get a slipgate, try to do some chronoporting. And there's my slipgate. There's my slipgate. Come on. There we go, okay. Now the slipgate's built. And I'm just going to try to get some infantry as well, and get some vehicles some Shin Turters and Teth Turters as well. So, just trying to make sure I have a good air and anti-air force. Try to get myself into good position so I can actually take down Sakhanov's base. It doesn't look like they've expanded very much, but their main base is really well entrenched, and it's going to be very difficult to get past. At this point, I'm just going to try to expand north a bit as well on their north base, take a fourth expansion. And it looks like... Oh, shoot, I am being attacked again. The design pulse are very annoying. And it looks like... Oh no, it destroyed my annex that was building gate tech. Ugh. Man, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to research gate tech before I get this thing done. 
Well, at any rate, I did have a backup annex, thankfully, so I can still build vehicles. So at least I can still defend myself and research gate tech again. And then build more vehicles, but... Okay, get another... Now I just gotta get another foundation, hopefully turn that into a slipgate, and actually successfully get some chronoporting going on, because I don't have it, and I don't know if Sakano's used it yet, but I imagine he has, because I don't see why he wouldn't, he usually does it. So once again, gate tech... Let's see, where is... Okay, so my expansions are fairly unmolested, but... Okay, why are you not going up there? Okay, so for some reason this idea is not going up there, it's stuck trying to do something. Anyway, that's not important. What's important is getting rid of this thing, this enemy unit here, and then trying to get all these forces in one big hierarchy so I can actually go for an assault on Sakhanov's base. Won't be able to carnivore these guys, but I will be able to get them in, so just get them... So, I should probably move closer to the present at this point. I'm practically at the unplayable past. Running very low on Chrono Energy and making it very difficult for me to actually pull off any good attacks. But anyway, so I have my forces set up, and now let's go attack. So, I have... One Shin Halkion leading a couple Tet, okay, a couple Tet Turchers, a couple Shin Turchers, and oh, actually another Shin Halkion. So yeah, fairly large air force coming in, and it looks like I'm guessing Sakhanov will be probably sending back some units to counter that. But hopefully it'll be a large enough force to avoid any large issues. I'm gonna continue building up as well, make sure I don't forget to build, don't get a ton of resources, and not be able to use them. Although I am getting really low on Chrono Energy, I should be fast forwarding soon. So make sure this battle goes well though, I'm not sure exactly, it looks like Khanov has attacked me, and also, apparently, he has actually gone for the middle expansion, so that's new. A lot, not a lot of people go for that expansion, it's very dangerous, but very, very resource rich, and... Okay, let's just redo this again so I actually go and get these resources, I'm not sure what happened to that Zion Veer, but... Anyway, now it's going up, so it should be fine. Okay, what happened here? Why am I... Why did I lose all my forces? Okay, I've lost a depot and an annex. Did I really run out of resources that quickly? Okay, what went on? Okay, so it looks back in the past and... Oh! Okay, something really weird happened. It looks like... How did I lose that annex? Okay, that's really weird. Maybe I just built the annex afterwards. Yeah, because it looks like... No, actually, it looks like I built the foundation and... Yeah, I guess that blue time wave... Okay, that's weird. I guess that red time wave, I got attacked really hard and the blue time wave, I've gotten saved again. Looks like King John 6 saved me. Oh well, that's great. So, once this blue time wave comes up, I'll actually be able to do something meaningful. But it looks like my north expansion has is being attacked. My middle expansion, not so much. My north, my north expansion has gotten a lot of resources. Actually, this one have a lot of resources stockpiled. Oh my, that's way too much. So just get another annex. Get another couple annexes, actually, once I get the chrono energy. Or once I get out of the unplayable pass, so it doesn't matter. And get some gate tech on this one as well for, I think, what, the fourth time now? Oh boy. Okay, so my expansion in the north is still being attacked. Like I said, I have a lot of resources. I've really made use of the resources I have, but I've got to build another annex. Oh, at the moment, I'm just going to build some Shin Halkions, get another annex, and get Gate Tech. At the very least, a backup annex. If I have to re research Gate Tech, I'll have the annex to do it, because it seems like I'm getting attacked to the south from teleported units a lot. And now Gate Tech's done, so I think I can build a subgate. And, okay, am I being attacked by a close unit? No, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to send. Send a couple of units to attack. Probably won't be a big deal. And, oh, it looks like Ipstick's actually going to the center of the map as well. You can see in the mini-map. Yeah, he's got some forces down the center. Although, I can't really see them right now. So I've got a couple Shin Halkions going to defend. Hopefully it's not a close unit, because the Shin Halkions do not attack. I do not have a Shin Torture with them. I'm also getting a Slipgate. Finally, a Slipgate. Hopefully this one will actually stay intact long enough for me to do something with it. While I, mass while I start amassing a huge army. And it looks like... Actually, my... The LC hasn't been used that much. Okay, well anyway. At this point, defended the QP a part of the expansion, so that's still secure. And the left side north expansion is also secure. And it looks like King John VI has taken the center as well, so he's going to help me hold that point while I build up my large army. And now I'll just send them to attack. So get another attack force going, and once again, as well, continuing to get more resource processors. I know I have a huge amount of resources stockpiled, but I don't want to run out. I mean, I might get attacked even more at this point. Lose more resources. I need my resources if I'm... Okay, what happened? Did something attack my Annex again? Oh, man. I must... I'm... I hope that's not paradoxed. I really hope those buildings haven't been paradoxed somehow, because if that's the case, that would really annoy me. I mean, I don't know. Do I have Gate Tech even? Because if I don't, that's... No, I don't. Those... The Shin Haokians will be able to upgrade Skip Teleport. Ugh. 
Well, once again, another gate attack. I think this is, what, number five that I've actually researched this gate attack? Wow, I mean, so kind of doing a really good job disrupting. Yeah, once again, Zion and Halkion came in and disrupted everything. Oh, man. This okay, he's doing a really good job disrupting me. That's for sure. That's, okay, being really annoying. Hopefully I can get a slip gate back there. Maybe I can tell can chronoport back and save my own base. We'll see. Anyway, at this point, it's going to defend my north expansion again. And then try to see if I... Then from there, it can attack their base directly. Because I don't want to really mess around at this point. It seems like they are going for attacks. I am starting to run low on my stockpile of resources. And my resource processors are getting attacked very heavily. So... The resources are becoming scarce. I don't know how long it's going to last. It looks like actually a couple of my QP boxes have been destroyed. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Zion Halkin went and actually... When it was destroying the resource processors, it destroyed the boxes as well. So that really cripples me. However, it's not a big deal. I do have expansions around the map, so I can survive this. It's just a bit annoying, that's all. I just got to make sure that I can have the stockpiles needed to get the units needed and stay alive. Now I really can't waste the units attacking the base, but I do need to attack that base, and it looks like Ipstick's forces are actually moving out a fair bit and doing a lot of damage. Quite a few of them. They're probably flying in, too, judging by the speed and the fact that they're going over lava without any issues. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gate attack, come on, be done. Okay, let's get a couple of Zion Halkions, have them attack as well, and come on, gate attack. Okay, gate attack's done. Get a slip gate. Okay. Hopefully this is the slip gate I need. If it is, I'll just tell or chronoport these Zion Halkions back in time. And it looks like it seemed to have gotten rid of the Kraken forces as well. So, at this point, it looks like pretty much in the clear. It's probably the home stretch. Going to be starting to attack. Dealing with damage I can. Hopefully getting through this base. And hopefully it won't stop me entirely. But I'm not sure. It looks like, okay, Bastion's gone. One of the foundations is dead. Now let's just get the slip gate. You need, need to make sure that slipgate's slip gate's dead. At the same time, my slip gate's done. So I've got to tell, start chronoporting my units back in time. Get these Zion Halkions both back. No, actually, let's get one of them back. Oh no, let's go. Actually, I do the chrono energy. Let's go for both. Okay. So I'm just going to get both of them back. Going to both attack well in the past. And hopefully, it should at least provide some of a distraction. So they're going to go in for the attack. And they should be able to get there. The pathfinding should, be, should not be a problem. And from here, should be able to get more forces as well. Just going to build up some more forces a bit further in the future. Right after the chrono port happens. Although, I do have Q plasma. I can build whatever I want. I mean, I do not, I'm not short on Q plasma. That's not going to be a problem. Anyway, oh, it looks like... Actually, it looks like Istix forces are attacking my base as well. And I set Halkion making sure work of my Shin Halkion. And that Slipgate's not dying, so I don't know exactly what's going on. If that Slipgate has been used, if he's chronoporting back units to counter my assaults or what. This one I'm just going to get... Once again, larger army, mostly air and anti-air. Some Shin Twitches as well for anti-ground. And... To get these a hierarchy and get them into the base to do more attacks. I'm not sure how my... Honestly, I'm not sure how my Zion Halkions went. I don't want to give it away too much, but then again, the time waves probably have already. Those are my Zion Halkions. Oh, actually, we're intercepted in the middle by the Grecan forces. Yeah, they're screwed. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste. Shit. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, boy. Hopefully I get some units back in time. Maybe I get a Teth Halkion or Teth Search or something back in time and able to attack that, or even just... I should look at this more far pods than Sepi pods, so Teth Turcher might be a better bet than Death Halkion. Not sure though. If I get these Shin Turchers back here though, I can at least deal some damage to the ground units in the base. And, come on, get the Halkion. Okay, yeah, I'm really low on chrono energy. Should probably be fast forwarding. But at this point, I'm a bit too concerned about exactly what's going on at this time. The Grecan units are doing a lot of damage. I better attack them. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack them first. And then after that, be able to do what I can to save. Yeah, okay, good. Teth Turcher, okay. So I can do some damage and try to save King John's 6th base. And hopefully that will be able to keep us in the clear. And from here we'll be able to destroy the base. Because it looks like, I'm not sure, the left side of the map has been relieved of my control. So I don't exactly have quite the freedom. But I am going to send a couple Teth Turchers back. Send them back in time, try to attack the Grecan forces earlier on. And get rid of them before they deal any more damage. Attack, defend that base. Defend my expansion that I took. And hopefully... That will be what I need in order to get that expansion. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So the expansion's already dead. Shoot. But if I can get rid of the air units, the Grecum units out of there, at least I can keep him from expanding safely around the map, and if I need to, I can get rid of that expansion again. So at this point, I'm just going to send a Teth Halkion as well to help out if there's more air units coming in. And these Teth are have been chronoported, so I shouldn't bother to command them too much. So at this point, I'm really low on resources, really low on QP, especially, or really low on LC. Pretty good on QP. I'm gonna teleport some boxes over the LC though, because I really need 
and also get the Chrono Energy to do this. Okay, get it to the LC. Okay, now it's at the LC. So I should have the Liquid Crystal fairly soon, coming in again. And I gotta get my Air Force here to go in for a final attack, hopefully. Final attack. Although it looks like the Shin Halkion is doing what it can. Ted Halkion, however, made short work of it again. Another Shin Turcher as well, coming in to attack the Ted Halkion. Not sure how that's gonna work, though. The Ted Halkion will probably win. At this point, I don't think there's really much that's kind of to do. However, I do have a very large army. I do have the expansions. I haven't seen him getting any expansions. And I don't have a lot of LC at this point, but I will be getting more LC soon. And really, the resources are practically dried up at this point. I think I think at this point, it looks like there isn't going to be much going on in Tsukhanov's favor. Or Ipstick's, the entire team's favor. And it looks like, yeah, there are still some forces coming in to attack. And this is when I Air Force attacked. Actually, after my Chronoported Teth Turchers attacked. Regardless, I do have more LC now. I can build more forces. I can actually get an upgrade Skip Teleport and then get the Teth Halkion back in time to help. Since that, those Grecan forces were not destroyed, so I need to get my Teth Halkion to help and just send it over. Once Skip Teleport's done, then I'll send it back in time, have it attack over. And... Oh shit, I should have had a teleport over. Oh well, it'll attack over. Anyway. Kind of upgraded to skip teleport for no reason. Well, anyway, back to where I was. So back in the more recent patch where I was, I still my armies continuing to build up, and infantry building up because I was low in LC, so I've used them just as some intermediate defense until I get enough LC to build vehicles, which I do now have now. And it looks like oh, actually, like Kano's base has been destroyed. Actually, oh good, oh goody. So let's just review. So it looks like I came in, managed to get rid of the forces, the Grecian forces here. Yeah, my air force come in. And it looks like, oh, I see, it looks like King John Six actually also Chrono Porter. Awesome, so we're both Chrono Porting the past to help out. But King John Six Chrono Porter is a bit closer to the action, so yeah, that was really useful Chrono Porter. Good job, King John Six, helping me out here. So it, so it looks like both of us, actually, I think both of us saved each other at least once this entire game. So we're just going to get some Shin, or some uh, Zion Pulses, I believe, and get some Skip Teleport going as well, so I can get, I don't know, actually... Wait, why did I have some good to teleport? Oh, whatever, it's no big deal. That's an air unit anyway, I suppose I can get it in faster. But I don't really need to teleport where I need to go, but... Anyway. And it looks like... Oh no, there we go. Okay, so I actually do have teleporting in, so yeah. I actually did manage to use teleport this time for my test Turcher, but it's not going to be a big deal. We seem to have pretty much won the game. So Kanov is going for a one last stand, going to attack, but it looks like it's GG. Yeah, he's... He's thrown in the towel, so Ipstick at this point is... I think also completely destroyed. He's probably gonna throw in the towel very soon. So it looks like King John Six and I have won the day. Looks like actually no, Ipstick does have a base on the higher part of the map. He has declared GG though. But he does have a base on the higher part of the map. I suppose he's just going for a Oh no, never mind. He surrendered. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much a good game. So just ending up, once the Khanov surrenders, then it'll be officially the end of the game, and we'll have officially won. But at this point, if six gone, Sakana's base is gone. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and have a good night.